This video series focuses on the elements of design, lines, shapes, forms, spaces, textures, and color. This video focuses specifically on shapes. Instructions and printable pages for five art exercises are included. There are nine videos in this series. Be sure to start by watching the introduction and then come back to this video. Let's take a closer look at shapes. Shapes are two-dimensional and flat. Some shapes are geometric and mathematical. There are circles, triangles, ovals, and parallelograms. There are prisms, pentagons, star shapes, and diamonds. There are squares, hexagons, rectangles, and much more. Organic shapes are natural. Graphic shapes are designed by artists and are simplified pictures. Let's try it. In this two-part art exercise, we will create geometric shapes and then organic shapes. Start with the art exercise, part one with geometric shapes. Cut out the geometric tracers. Draw shapes that overlap. Color all of the shapes and spaces. I used oil pastels because I like the bright colors. You could also use pencil crayons, markers, or crayons. When I finished coloring the shapes and spaces, I carefully traced my lines with black to make them stand out. Next, complete the art exercise, part two, with organic shapes. Draw a wavy line connecting point A with point A. Draw another wavy line connecting point B with point B. Make sure the lines overlap. Just like before, color all of the shapes and spaces and add an outline. Compare your artwork. What is similar? What is different? Let's take a look at how famous artists use shapes. Then we can create some artwork with shapes together. Paul Klee is a famous artist. In this painting, he used geometric shapes, including rectangles, triangles, squares, and a circle. Notice how he placed the shapes next to each other without any space in between. I like his harmonious colors. Let's try it. In this art exercise, we will be inspired by Paul Klee and we will create artwork that focuses mostly on shapes. Draw shapes on the grid by counting grid squares. Place your shapes right next to each other so they fill all of the space. Overlap some shapes. Color all of the shapes. We can make great artwork with geometric shapes.
Pablo Picasso is a famous artist. He is well known for his cubism style. In this painting of a woman, he combined different shapes. Often, Picasso would combine straight-on views and profile views of facial features together in one portrait. Notice how Picasso used rough lines and bright colors. I think Picasso created a surprising portrait with an unusual feeling. What do you think? Let's try it. Color the background shapes. Color the shapes for the facial features. Add texture and pattern if you like. I used oil pastels because I like the bright colors. You could use pencil crayons, markers, or crayons instead if you wish. You can use the facial shapes provided, or you can create your own. Cut out the facial features. Arrange the shapes and glue. Have fun with this part. The shapes can be slanted in different directions. I used marker to make the lines stand out. Does your finished portrait have an unusual or surprising feeling like the Picasso portrait of a woman? Henry Rousseau is a famous artist, well known for his jungle scenes. Notice all the different shapes that he used for leaves. I like the different colors that he used too. Let's try it. Add at least five different kinds of leaves with different shapes to the jungle scene. I started by drawing my leaves with a pencil. Next, I used pencil crayons because I like how I can color small shapes with a sharpened tip. I used lots of different colors. Finally, I used a fine point black marker to outline my leaves so that they would stand out from the background. The next art exercise combines art and mathematics as we create patterns on a grid. A pattern is the equal mathematical repetition of lines, shapes, forms, and space. Here are just a few beautiful examples of pattern from all over the world. We can see textile patterns from Africa, the Middle East, and North America. We can see ceramic patterns from South America and Islamic mosaic patterns. These varied patterns all have repeating lines, shapes, and spaces that have been designed on a grid. Transformations are used in pattern making and they include translations, reflections, and rotations. We can recognize these transformations within this example. Let's try it. Start with a point at 4A. Draw a line to 3B, then 3C, then 4D, and back to 4A to create a shape. Duplicate and reflect your shape over a mirror line at level 4. Join the two shapes together. Rotate and duplicate the shape clockwise 90 degrees around the center at 4E. 
rotate and duplicate the shape counterclockwise 90 degrees around the center at 4E. Translate and duplicate the shape 5 units to the right. The background, or negative space, has also become an interesting shape. Use different lines, shapes, and spaces together with transformations on a grid. Tell me about your artwork with shapes in the comments below.